Da 
내게 웅이시 무토마 투타레와 임베리 요투샤 누구위 메세위 전신에서 지마나양 부세호 쿠쿠리 나샤비 많이 부가 마생거리 해래 이시우 수희위 태유고와 니위 두친에게 옹이시 무투마 투타레와 임베리 요투샤 누구위 메세위 전신에서 지마나 양푸세호 쿠쿠리 나샴비 많이 부가 마생거리 해래 소개라 소개라 쿠쳐야 부세라 소개라 나오야 쿠쿠마나 쿠쿠마나 타루 
Imana ibaho umugisha May God bless you uh, I have people who want to give their thanksgiving and testimony uh, Let me welcome Muhumure He will use a few minutes and also Aziz be close by Akagumanyere kayo kwa wanotuwa tulikungwe watangunda. Basi na umuka vile. 
noneho nkabaho muri ubwo buzima lakini Yesu ni mwema ari ku imana ni nziza Yesu ni mwiza sijui munda munaniva ni si ni munda gani ju labda ni si pitishe masa yeah ni ju ni usuda mrefu lakini nitakata kwa kipande tasema jana yes reka agabanye avuge ayo no ibyo no munsi gusa yejo ibyejo hashes jana tulikuwa umu kitaramo Ejo twari turi hano mu gitaramo. Nawaza muliona utukufu wa Mungu hapa. Ndabizi ko mwabonye imbaraga z'Imana aha hantu. Sijyu kama muliona gisi mimi niliona. Sinzi niba mwarabonye nk'ukuntu nange nabibonye. Sijyu kama mulisikia sauti za Mungu kama gisi nilisikia. Sinzi niba mwarumva isijwi ry'Imana ejo ni mugoro nk'uko naryumvise. Soko alisema vizuri. Uyu mwana yavuze neza. Kama uko Mkristo. Niba nguru Mkristo. Umeokoka. Ugakizwa. Ugomba kuzajya umva ijwi ry'Imana. Juu ukiwa na sauti ya Mungu. Kubera ko yumvise ijwi ry'Imana. Mungu atakuongoza. Imana izakuyobora. Basi tulikuwa hapa jana. Ejo ejo twari turahanga. Ilikuwa ni kasambura manza chambu cha Barundi. Byari bimeze nka nko kurangiza imanza. Manake niliona kama vile mbingu zimefunguka. Nukuri nabonye nka hijuru rifungutse. Nabonye ibintu bitangaje muri no rusengero ntumukahasuzugure Amen Hari imana nzima hano hantu Hari ubwiza bw'Imana ntabwo ndiwo mbivuga ngo abantu banyumve cyangwa se nshimagize Nta mafaranga muri bumwe Lakini nashudia gisi Mungu ndagira ngo mbabwize ukuri yuko hari imana nzima hano hano twarasenze mimi nilikuwa hara muri zira ntebe zira arahirya nabonaga ntari hano hano nabonaga ndahandi hano nabonye hari numa buri numa yose ifite ururabyo cyangwa se iwuwa none yarafukamye mbona mfukamye hana ariko nzengurutswe numuriro moto mwingi kabisa umuriro mwinshi cyane ibyo nibyo nabonye ntabwo nshobora kurenza ikimana yambiye cyangwa yanyeretse amen imana yanyeretse yuko mpise mfungurwa yarafite umubabaro cyangwa umujinya mu buzima nilikuwa na kiburu bwibone nari mfite ubwibone nari mfite ubwibone ehe na kuwazia watu wengine vibaya nari mfite ubwibona no kuzajya ntekereza abandi nabi munyurumye kanisa la bwana toro ry'Imana mu mbabarire tumuhe imbabazi mu izina rya Yesu ucungaji wangu ni same imana igo ikubabarire ndakubabarire nange amen basi sita sema marefu juu muda naona ni nimekamata muda mwingi tashudia siku ingine kama mtanipa Amen. kipindi juu niko yeah. na ushuda wa zamani na huyu mwingine yeah, nene nashudia matendo mafu ya Mungu yeah. isi yeah. Mungu alinifungua yeah. alinifungua niko pani sikia nafunguliwa kabisa Amen. na rifiti mitu arunde mereye Amen. imitu aro na rifite ni yonyene yo kugenda no mujinya ndaziko abandi batankunda naziko sishobora gusenga naziko nikasirikia Mungu. Yari 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 yararakari y'Imana akumva ko abantu batamukunda, akumva ko abantu batamwitayeho akagenda nicyo kintu. Nikaikara ku nyumba rikasema siombi. Akazaja arakari n'Imana akavuga ngo akicara mu rugo akavuga ngo ntabwo ndi busenga. Lakini nilichafua. Nari yanduje. Nikajichafua. Ndi yanduza. Paka mi peke na jiangalia kwa kweli na badilika juki chafuka roho na mwili na chafuka iyo iyo wamaze guhumana umutima numubiri urangirika mungu na yaka 
Noneho imana irandeka satano nikazaje inteza ibitero byinshi ndarwara ndarwara ariko ndashima imana hari ababyeyi babiri hano tunatumika nao dukorana mama kamikazi si mama mama nyabe gahaguruka nyama za ile si mama mama jedi aba wa mama wakuniachilia aba babyeyi ntabwo bandetse imana ibahereza umugisha Barangurichiranye cyane Bambujija mahoro Njeri jihe mbona ko bambujija mahoro Kuberiki mumbaza ngo nzaza kurusengero rujahari jari Nghaza Yaja gabgira ngo ndashaka kubanza nihane Na japo siko natubu niko na jichafua Ariko nabgo nihana gahubgo nako mezaga ngi yanduzi Nisha kujirango bandeke gusaniwa mugiri binuji torero. Ariko ni bandetse. Ndabizi kumna komeje kusengere. Ndabizi yuko mshomba wa chuo yagumi ansengere. Inshuti zara ansengere. Nubgo bjiari bimeze kuri chakoni hima ndetse. Nubgo na bonyo mno ujira kumuri jango wanj. Ariko ndabizi kumna ansengere. Kujira ngonga rukehana. Nabgo bjiari binu bjoros. Kuberako satani yari ramha mbiri migos. Akazaja vuga ngona toro na imungu na habu nzaja gusenga hano na hamne. Na ubgoni bogo busi manana na hisemo. Arikonda shimi mana. Yavuze kwa tazaa tureka. Ndabizi. Ujua kama mungu awezi kukuacha. Ubi menye yu kima ni tagusiga. Ukianguka utasimama tena. Nubgo wago uzonjiru hagarare. Najina la wana jivariki. Imana ishimge chani. Thank you. Dukomeri imana mashi. Let's clap for Jesus. Azizi imani muhere zumujisha. May God bless her. Ajirumutima umeneche imana chani. She has a soft heart for God. Yes, ashimge. Praise the Lord. Mbanje ushima anako. I want to thank God that we're all here alive. I thank God that I moved from Indiana and got here safely and found a job. I want to thank the family of Pastor's family because they helped me. When I arrived, they, they took me in and helped me. And, and pastor's wife helped me to find a job. And after one week, I already had a paycheck. And I want to thank God for that. I also thank God because of this church. I arrived on Friday and Saturday. They had a conference. I usually don't go to conferences. But that, that conference helped me and it freed me. I had planned, when I was planning to move to Maine, I, I wanted to work every day 24-7. But as, as I said it, uh, Mama Pastor, we live together so she told me to come and work. She said that I will find you a job but as long as you come to church and you pray. Praying is good for you. And I accepted it but without fully accepting it. And I said if she's finding me a job I can't say no to her. And she found me a job. And when I got here at church, I, I loved this church. When I lived in Indiana, 
I used to live with him, but he never saw me at church. But ever since I arrived here, I've never missed a day of church. And I want to thank, to thank God for that. I want to thank God that he, he built a home for me. I, I got married. My wife is still in Africa. But God, God gave us a home and a child. And I want to thank God for that. May God bless you. Let's clap for God. These are the works of God. God bless Muhumure. And we were blessed to, to see servants of God coming here. Madam, my wife gives jobs and also the preacher for today he uh, also uh, gives out jobs. Uh, so every Christian who is here with not a, with no job get close to them and ask for a job and if they don't give you a job ask me, ask for a job. Because the Bible says that pay attention to in, the people in the house of God. May God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's have our holy communion. Pastor uh, Joseline, sorry. And let me ask Pastor Joseline to step forward. So she can pray for the holy communion. And then we'll, uh, uh, we'll get it. And it, we are running out of time, but we had a good time. And we are running out of time, but we had a good time. Pastor Karibu. tena kinywaji cha kawaida tunaitakasa kwa damu yako takatifu baba tunakiri ya kuwa hii ni damu na mwili wako ambao kasema mwenye atakunywa damu yako na kula mwili wako atapata uzima wa milele acha kupitia damu hii na mwili huyu bwana wote amekuja na changamoto yoyote ile bwana atoke akipata jibu Iwe kama dawa kila shida ya maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo iwe moto ulambao ambayo hakuna nguvu ya giza tena inaweza katawala mwenye atafikiria hii meza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaitakasa amen amen deka afate eh eh mubiri na maraso Let's ask her to take the body of the Lord as the, as the singer step forward. And she will give it to everyone. And I want to remind you that the Holy Communion a person who was baptized is the only one who receives it. And if you are not baptized yet, you can Let me also ask Elder Nobel so he can go on the other side so that we can save time. Yes. What is the Holy Communion? As they are giving it out, you are going to, to pay attention to the screen. When we share the Holy Communion, it reminds us four things. Yes. It reminds us the, of the birth of Jesus. And the death of Jesus. The resurrection of Jesus. And uh, the Holy Communion to us Christians. It reminds yes. us of yes. three things. It reminds us that we were forgiven. That we have reasons to live. And it reminds us that we will go to heaven. If it's possible, take a picture of that. That's why we, we, we have the projectors. 
So that you can understand the word of God. We're going to read in Matthew 26 to, uh, 26. It says, uh, While they were eating, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body then he took a cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink from it all of you this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of their sins. Every person who has received yes, it, yes, please stand yes. up. We're going to do this. There ha, there's two plastics over here. You have to open the top first. Uh, uh, and there's the bread. While they were eating, Jesus took yes. the bread Take and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it. He gave it to his disciples. Saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Let's eat the body of Christ. And when you're done opening the first one, you open the, the bottom one. Is the one that has the blood of Jesus in it. And he, then he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them. Saying, Drink from it all. God, in the name of Jesus. This is a reminder of the powerful thing you did for our lives. When you allowed yourself to, to give yourself away for us. You, you allowed yourself to die so we can live. Every person that we share the blood and your body let their life be changed let, let it be their transformation let everybody who had a spiritual warfare be saved in the name of Jesus those who were sick be healed those who, who didn't want to go to church anymore receive the thirst of Christ resurrect our lives because the deed you did was so that we can receive life. We thank you yes. that you sacrificed yourself for us and you rescued us that you gave us life that you went to heaven and we also come to see you in heaven in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Singers, let's, welcome let's welcome the preacher for today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm going to go to the world. I'm going to go to the world. I'm going 
Narimunga do tei soni e sanguramo. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Imani wa humugisha. God bless you all. Let me thank you first. Firstly, I'll thank our senior pastor here. For people that don't know, this is my uh, best man. So I thank God that he uh, honored us. I thank God that he, he honored me to come and preach. God bless you. As a senior pastor, he has the capability of giving a space uh, to a person here in front of you because it's not everybody that can stand at the altar. And I thank God that he thought about us or me to be here. God bless him. Secondly, I want to thank God for this church. Because I know when they started here, when they were still at the Ramadan hotel, there were few, few people. But I thank God for the number that I'm seeing here. This is what's showing that God is working. And the purpose that you have is not just here, there's another place that God is going to help you reach. We thank God for that. I thank, you, I thank God for all the people I saw here. Many people that I haven't seen for a while. There's a friend that I see from Iowa that was the last time I saw him. God bless him. And other people as well. Uh, God bless you all. Again, uh, another point. I want to thank God because I'm standing in front of you. Uh, and I'm about to preach. A lot of people know me uh, being in front to sing. It's not the first time that I'm preaching. But it's uh, my first time standing in front of a congregation to preach. I thank God for that. I, I'm not a pastor. I'm an evangelist like many of you. So I hope that God is going to be present and help us all. So before we continue, I wish to sing one song. And I also thank God for Nzungu. We served together in Gisubizo for a long time. And I thank God that uh, I'm forward so that we can sing and then listen to the word of God. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Sigera hosi da 
We're going to read uh, two places today. So we're going to read in Job, Job 26, 19. Job 26, 19. If it's possible, they can. It can show it. So, so he said, would your wealth or even all your mighty efforts sustain you so that you would not be in distress? So Ephesians 320. Now now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. So our topic today is um, a power that's above all. So when we're talking about the power or the strength that's above all, you can understand that there's two different uh, strengths or powers. All of them are powers. And different people believe in different powers. And that's how people uh, believe in different powers in different ways. The first power that we're going to talk about is the power of people or the might mighty of people. And the power that people can use or the strength that people can use. There's different types of them well. People can be strong. We can say that people are str strong and powerful. So the first power is the power that you feel within you. It could be physical strength or intellectual or wisdom. There are some people that exist and they believe in themselves. They trust in themselves and they feel like they can do everything. And they feel like there's nothing more powerful than their themselves. That's one type of power. The second type of power. There's people that 
trust in the power of the family. Some people have powerful families. They think because I, I come from a powerful family, there's nothing that can shake me. They feel like they don't have to come close to other people. They cannot uh, fellowship with other people because they trust the power of their families. They, they feel like everyone else is meaningless or anything else is meaningless. That's also a type of power. The third type of power it's people that... Um, trust in their wealth, the but power of their wealth. They, they think that the wealth that they have, there's nothing that can touch them. There's, they cannot lack of anything. That means because of the wealth they have, they know that they have everything. But that a singer song, that's why we sang this song, the, the, this song said that where the power of men have, has an ending, meaning that the power of men has a stopping line. It can, the power of men can do some things and cannot do other things. Even if you have whatever wealth you think you can have, it's not going to give you time. Wealth cannot give you time. In any way possible. There are some people that they have a lot of money. Okay. It cannot give you a child. Sorry. There's a lot of people that have money. That have a lot of wealth. But they don't have children. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of people that have money. But they don't have a lot of money. That cannot replace the parents. Right that means the money that you have has things that it can do. And then it has things that it cannot do. That's why we said here there is a power that's above all powers. There's a power that's above men's power. There's a power that has might more than other powers. There's a power that's stronger than any other power of your family. There's a power that has uh, the capability or the strength more than what you have. You, you might be a very educated person. You finish college and university and all. But all that has an end. There's something you cannot do for you. But the power of God is a power that's above all other Hallelujah. powers. Hallelujah. It's a power that's more above all other powers. Everything that you think is impossible, the power of God, when it comes, that all problem gets solved. If you don't have a child yet, the power of God can give you a child. Believe it or not, the power of God can do that. You, if you are poor, what do you have with no hope. You feel like you don't have any hope. But the power of God today. I want to tell you that he has the, the power of changing what's not possible. It's possible. Every problem that you may have. The power of God is able to. We have a lot of examples. Without, without talking about our own examples, if we say what God has done, maybe you think that we are, we are being prideful, but there's a lot of uh, examples in the Bible that show well what God did. Things that you may think as a person with your intelligence, you feel like it's not possible. So the power of God can rise people that died. 
Believe it or not, that's how it is. So now we think that it's not possible that a person that died can rise again. But let me tell you that the power of God can do that, is able to do that. Um, Recently when I was reading Acts of Apostles, when Paul was preaching, the spirit of God told him to go to there's nothing that the spirit of God told him to go and say but uh, the spirit of God told him to go to that and then the spirit of God went, told him when you get there I'll tell you what to do so the spirit of God goes hand in hand with the power of God so the spirit of God told him when you get to Orpa you're going to go to a, a house of a person named Simon Peter went and when he got there people in Orpa they were there they came gathered at Simon's house they told him there's no way that Tabitha can die with all the things the mighty words it's not possible come pray for her so that she can rise again Paul went and prayed for him and then he, she rose again it wasn't the power the, or the power of Peter it was the power of God that's why we read in Ephesians he says uh, exceedingly, exceedingly above all we can think. that's what he can do because his power works in us when you do something and it works don't think that it's your strength don't think that it, you are smarter than anybody else. It's the power of God that works in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, in, the, in, in the Bible, they say, it says that the commander chief, the chief commander had a lot of soldiers. One was sick. He, t- he told them to go and t- all his soldiers, one of the soldiers, to go, and tell Jesus. go tell Jesus so that he can come and heal my, my yes, soldiers. Jesus told them, let's go. Uh, he, told, he told him, it's not necessary for you to go with us. I am a commander in chief as well, and it, I rule over people. When I tell somebody go, he goes. When I tell them to go do something, they go, 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 do, it. They go and do it. So it's, you don't have to come with us. Just uh, command, command and my person is going to be healed. And Jesus commanded and he was healed. Do you uh, do you think that the, chief, the commander in chief you think that he that, that, the trust that he had in God or the faith that he had in God can you imagine can you believe that so that he told God I also command people when I tell them to do things they do them you Jesus you, you can just say one word and things can change hallelujah there's a lot of examples there's a lot of examples. If we, we could talk about job, there's a lot of people. In this life, there's a lot of things. The, the, the power of God is still working. And let me tell you one thing. The power of God doesn't 
is doesn't manifest in what he's gonna do. Because we believe that there's something he can do. And then that's when we, we think that we believe in his power. But the, the power of God manifests in what he, he has already done. What God has done yesterday and what he did last year and what he's, he did recent years that's what makes us believe and trust in what he's going to do Hallelujah. in his power Amen. so today let me remind you again that the power of God can, can exterminate the problem that you think cannot be solved as a singer song and said all the problems that we, we wander in our hearts, God has their answers. Every problem that you see that cannot be I want to tell you that the power of God can change it to nothing. It doesn't matter how great and big the problem is. There's nothing that can stand in front of God. So the, 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 the writer that wrote Job in 19 he said does, can the wealth of a man or the power of the wealth of a man can it um, protect you from uh, suffering. Let me ask you one thing. All the money that you have in your account, all the houses that you have, all the wealth that you think that you have, can it protect you from suffering? So what is the purpose of the wealth? That's what shows us that there is no power that we have. Everything that we think, it cannot help help us unless the power of God that can do something hallelujah hallelujah so let's talk about what we need so that we can believe in the power of God. Or what's needed for that power to work in us. Because we saw that uh, man's power is nothing. He has an end in any way possible. There's a, there's a line that it cannot cross. And then we see that the power of God can do anything. All the problems that we have all the problems that we didn't find in the answer, everything that we've been wondering in our hearts. So you wonder, how is it possible? So you wonder, how is it possible that I can have that power of God in me? God in me? That the power of God can work in me. So the, the person that wrote Ephesians says, how, is, how can that power of God work in us. Let's say two things. The first thing is to pray. You cannot have this power of God if you don't pray. When we say praying, it's a big topic you could take a whole month talking about praying but we're going to say a few things about that praying is the only thing that can help you get the power of God that can help the power of God work in you. Praying is having a fellowship with God. Because it's not possible to have the power of God. There's no way that the power of God can work in you if you don't have a fellowship with God. 
It's not possible. You have to have a relationship with God from praying. Through praying. Then God will give you that power and he will work in you. That's when you pray for something and then it gets solved. Some people even go above and start thinking that it's their own power. But it's the power of God working in you. But there's no other way it can go through. from if it, it's not your relationship with God. Secondly, so praying is a counselor. It's, it's having a counsel meeting between you and God. What do you think? In how in regular life? Many people have counselors in regular life. When you have a problem, they ask you to go see a therapist or a counselor. So that they can talk to you. So that your life goes back to normal. So, spiritually. Do you think that we don't need a counselor? We, it's needed. For us to have that power working in us. It, uh, it, it, it requires to have a counselor a council meeting be between us and God. So praying is therapy. In other words, that we should be doing every day. As you are fellowshipping with God, there's a level that you reach. God will tell you, you see this thing? It's not good for you to do it in this way. This thing if you do this, this is going to be the It cannot happen if you don't have a fellowship you can, you can, you cannot, God cannot be your counselor if you don't have a relationship. Thirdly, what prayers do? So praying is the biggest gift than anything else. So if you want this power to work in you, you have to get prepared to get a lot of wars That's why you have to have the arm... Um, of praying. You have to have the weapon of praying so that you can receive the power. So that you can keep on praying every day. Use um, uh, prayers as your weapon. So that time you get the strength so that you can overcome everything that is hard in front of you. So the last thing that is needed so that you can have the power so, so that you can have the power it's uh, faith. So you might have the power of God and it's working in you but if you don't have faith if you don't believe in them it, it's not going to work at all. In Ephesians